All right. I'm going to give you a quick glimpse of the 125. I've added a harem of clownfish. Unfortunately, I've had two escape out of the back overflow. I don't know how it's possible since it has a cover and the drain slits are very small. But I have found two in my sump down below. I was able to save one. The other one got hung up in some filter media and did not make it. I've got a new overhead light and I picked up on eBay. Uh, it's a off-brand Fizon name I don't recognize, but it's leaps and bounds better than the Reef Radiance that I've got there that's very ancient. Um, my big anemone here decided it didn't like quite light for the flow that's in the tank so it has moved and walked around to the back side. But he still likes his shrimp so he's good. Don't know why my goby's trying to mount to that rock there. Uh, one of these days I'm going to learn the names of these zoas that I'm collecting. Uh, and I did pick up a, another anemone. It's started out in this corner and then moved to the back. It's a white with purple ends. And it's sitting back there in the very corner. Uh, again, it transferred itself in the last two days across. Uh, now the 75, I just did some maintenance to. So some of the corals have retracted. Uh, but I wanted to show this real quick because if you'll notice, right there in the center, there happens to be an emperor angel that I just got from Seven Seas. And that guy is awesome. <sighs> I'm loving him. Uh, can't find the beauty angel that was in here. He tends to hide and shows up about every four days or so. That's worrisome. Hopefully he hasn't met his demise. Uh, I did lose the rabbit fish for about a week and then he popped up the other day. Uh, but like I said, I just wanted to get a little look at this guy because he is so cool. Alright. That's an update on my salt waters here. Thank you very much.